Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching Highlander. What do you know about this? Nothing, I don't <laughs> think. Um, Clancy Brown is in this, and I think that's the main reason that this movie's been so highly recommended. Yeah. So we saw Clancy Brown in Starship Troopers. Yeah. And of course, Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, evil in Shawshank, great in Starship. Also, Mr. Krabs. Yes. Which, I mean, SpongeBob is like my favorite of all time. That's what my we childhood. Grew up with, yeah. yeah. So I don't know how I didn't realize that that wasn't Mr. Krabs' voice. Based off of what we've seen Clancy Brown in, everyone was like, you gotta watch him in Highlander. Right. It sounds like he's like the villain of this. I think he might be the villain, and I think this is like a medieval swords movie or something. Yeah, I from the movie poster, it looked kind of fantasy. Yeah. So, excited. Super excited. I mean, I know I've heard Highlander plenty of times. I know it's a classic, iconic movie, and I'm super excited to watch it. Plus, I know they're possibly remaking it, maybe with Henry Cavill, and I'll watch anything with Henry Cavill in it. So I want to watch this, so at least I know what I'm going to watch in the future. Um, and a decent amount of people have said that I think a good amount of the soundtrack, if not all of it, is Queen. Oh, wow. And I love Queen, so... That's gonna be fun. Yeah. Unfortunately, most of that will not make it to YouTube. No, probably all of that. <laughs> but super excited for it. Awesome. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. With that, let's get into the movie. When the few who remain will battle to the last, no one has ever known we were among you. Okay, battle to the end. Highlander and Sean Connery. I was gonna say the narration kind of sounded yeah, it like did Sean kind Connery. of sound like him. Well, this is definitely not medieval <laughs> swords action. <laughs> this is a real interesting shot. Yeah. Just flying around the whole stadium. Mysterious man. I know it's not him, but that guy looks like Thomas Jane. Okay, so it is kind of like old timey swords. This guy like a time traveler? Or? Yeah, I don't know if he's like a time traveler or just having some crazy dreams. I don't know if he's trying to like steal a car or if he's suspicious of someone being in here. He's got gloves on, I think. Yeah. Oh. McLeod. McLeod. Wait. What the? This is not anticipating <laughs> this. What is going on? <laughs> Jeez. An intense sword. I love the sound effects. Oh. Oh, uh -oh. come on. That works. Oof. Dang, this guy's a freaking gymnast. <laughs> Is that faster than running? <laughs> His sword went underneath the car, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. It's an interesting, like, hilt to the sword. You're done. Holy! Dang, this sword is crazy powerful. What? Jeez. Is he like absorbing him or something? This is just like so much power. Someone else? Oh, what's that noise? 
Did he throw a sword up there? What? <laughs> Whatever we were watching, I was not prepared for it. No. That's him. So either he's like a time traveler or he doesn't age. Oh, that's his family name. Are you scared, Connor? <laughs> Connor. Connor McLeod. I beat my kilt the first time I went into battle. <laughs> Very beautiful castle. You fight with God on your side, Connor. I go like that. But keep him in one piece, do you hear? I we all know what piece that is. <laughs> <laughs> This is the flashbacks that he was having. Yeah. Oh. That was intense. There is one called Connor among them. I. That's Clancy Brown. The boy is mine. It's big up. I would not want to face that guy in battle. No. Well, it doesn't look like he actually goes in with them. How are they going to know which one's Connor? <laughs> oh, I feel like they're losing. Oh my god, yeah, they're really losing. My son. <laughs> Just slit his throat. Fight me, you coward. Oh, no one will fight him. Here he comes. <laughs> Three lady, stay by me. <laughs> okay, that was really fast. Can be only one. Uh, another time, McLeod. Another time, is he not dead? <laughs> there can be only one. The intro said something about like all fighting to the last person. Nash. Give me it. Oh. Oh. Don't even breathe. These transitions are crazy. It is over. No! Still breathing a little, right? Yeah. I mean, we know he's alive in the present. Man, he went from no one fighting him to immediately getting stabbed. Oh, this is the guy he decapitated. We're questioning some guy named Nash, antique dealer down on Hudson Street. Antique dealer? What do you think of the cause of death, Lieutenant, huh? <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy that was killed just like this over in Jersey. Garfield, cover that head. Oh. oh. So he just put his own up there. Yeah. A Toledo Salamanca. Very rare sword. She knows her stuff. Only about a million bucks. Holy crap. Any antique dealer on Hudson Street could tell you that. Does he have powers? Other than staying alive? I don't know. I don't know if that guy was just freaking out. <laughs> you ever get over to New Jersey, Nash? Not if I can help it. Okay. What's that? A sword? <laughs> Wise up, smartass. You went down that garage to buy this sword from that guy. What's his name? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Almost got him. Azeal, <laughs> you thought about the price and cut off his head. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Hey, you crazy? Crazy oh. oh my god, he punched him real hard. Am I under arrest? Not yet. <laughs> he just punched the shit out of a couple of cops. <laughs> He's a hero. So someone was killed a couple days ago in Jersey. Decapitated. Decapitated. I know his name. Oh. Now he's like a punk rocker. So I think we know who did it in New Jersey. <laughs> okay, Mr. Victor Whoa. Cougar. Room 315. Victor Cougar? Wait, isn't that the name of the person they said was decapitated? Was it? Yeah. I mean, he looks like his head was decapitated. That's right, Mr. Cougar. So is it more than just not aging? Is it they can't die? Like he put his head back on? Ooh. Whoa. That looks 
very heavy duty. It's even longer. <laughs> Whoa. Some fancy tricks. The gathering. I'm Candy. Candy, get the hell out. She saw that giant sword and <laughs> continued in there. Uh oh. She also kind of looks like the girl from the past. Ah. Uh. Maybe he'll fall in love. Mm. Who's there? Don't go towards the sound. <laughs> Why are you asking me about the garden? Have you been following me? <laughs> I'd like to walk you home, Brenda. Super creepy. I can take care of myself. Good job, Brenda. Wait, does he know her? I think he was just literally following her. Mm. I don't know. I think he's ever met her. Ooh, now you're gonna be followed. So he's pretty established here if he has an antique shop. It's true. It's not like he's trying to like hide yeah. necessarily. Be quiet. Holy fuck. Hey, good job, Brenda. Jeez, Victor is huge. Right. He is doing better than the first time they met, but still not great. Nice to see you again, McLeod. Nice to see you. Oh. <laughs> the only one. Another time, Highlander. Another time. Right there. Come back here. <laughs> Come back here. I called you Highlander. What did I mean? There can only be one. Only one what? The moment you have one life, you value it. Go home. So he's got more than one life. Yeah, so it's more than just being old. I don't I don't think they can die. Or they have a certain Set. number of lives? Yeah. He should have died. I see he's got the devil in him. Hey! Are they all afraid of him? Yeah. How did you manage that, Connor McLeod? Would you rather I was dead? He's in league with Lucifer. Jeez. You've the devil in you. Holy crap, they turned on him 20 quick. Years. I thought they would all be super happy. Yeah. Jeez. Holy crap. They just can't explain it, so it's like devil. Yeah. He's your cousin, man! Get it! Dang, this sucks. <laughs> this lady, man. Yeah, wasn't she like all over him? And you walk. I'll bloody well walk out of here. I'll no, forget you, Angus. At least he had one friend left. I know, left. thank goodness for Angus. They didn't even take that off him? I don't think he had a lot of time. Moon's like massive. <laughs> oh. I said that the transitions <laughs> are crazy from time to time. So has he just been on his own this entire time, practically? That's what I was thinking. So it doesn't sound like it's time travel then. So he's just been alive? Yeah, just alive for like five, six hundred years or whatever. I think they said it was like 15 something back in, in the beginning of the movie. Oh, I think I missed it. It's kind of a nice place. Yeah. If you're alive for as long as you are, you better have a lot of money. <laughs> this is swords. Dang, just all the stuff he's collected over the years. But he, like, personally collected this stuff probably yeah. in, in the time. It was an antique when he got it. <laughs> no. It was brand new. <laughs> okay, good for him. <laughs> you can do that to me forever if you like, my lord. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Keep scaring me. <laughs> Whoa. Good things. It's like a pirate. I am Juan Sanchez Villalobos Ramirez, fifth of Spain, and I'm at your service. So he plays a Spaniard? Oh. It's the quickening. We are the same, McLeod. So we'll be seeing him here, probably? I assume so. Just casually sharpening <laughs> his sword. Oh, that's her book. Oh, I mean, she was 
She knew exactly what type of sword that was. Yeah. I don't like boats. <laughs> I don't like water. I'm a man, not a fish. You look like a woman, you stupid haggis. <laughs> haggis? Sheep stomach stuffed with meat and barley. <laughs> you eat it. I've had haggis. I cannot swim, you Spanish peacock. <laughs> I'm not Spanish. I'm Egyptian. You have the manners of a goat. And you smell like a dung heap. <laughs> oh, better learn how to swim real quick. You can't drown, you fool. You're immortal. <laughs> Slept it. Yeah, this is wild. I'm alive. Can you just like walk at the bottom? Just hang out in here? He's <laughs> enjoying himself. Who needs to learn how to swim? <laughs> just walked all the way to shore. Yeah, I guess so. Crude and slow, clansmen, your attack was no better than that of a clumsy child. Oh, that's the sword he uses now. It's the devil's work. <laughs> I hate you. Good. That is a perfect way to start. Because you were born different, men will fear you. So there's no real explanation? Just kind of born like that? I guess. And harness your power until the time of the gathering. That's what uh, Victor was saying in the present. We will feel an irresistible pull towards a faraway land to fight for the prize. New York is the faraway land. I guess. He's preparing him. Yeah, it's definitely his like mentor and trainer. If your head comes away from your neck, it's over. Okay, so you can't fully lose your head. Because Victor's like scar looked like it Just was- Just front. Yeah, it's like not a clean cut. What a location. Beautiful. And off balance. <laughs> Heather, please. If it came down to just us two, would you take my head? <laughs> oh. I think that's a yes. <laughs> you are safe only on holy ground. None of us will violate that law. Whoa. Let yourself feel the stack. It's hot. I feel it! Oh, he's gonna make you go get that for him. Give me your hand, brother. I hope they don't have to kill each other at some point. Yeah, we haven't seen him in the future, though, right? No, and he's using his sword. Yeah. Maybe someone else does, though. I mean, there's clearly a handful of them. You cannot have a family. We cannot have children. Oh. Here's dinner. <laughs> you must leave her, brother. Yeah, or else he's just gonna watch her die of old age and keep going. I was born 2,437 years ago. Ooh. Masamuni, a genius, made this for me. It is the only one of its kind. When Shakiko died, I was shattered. Please, let Heather go. I wonder if there's any female immortals. Yeah, we have no idea how many there even are. That black knight was a Kurgan. Who is the Kurgan? And where does he come from? For amusement, they toss children into pits with hungry dogs to fight for meat. Jesus. He is the strongest of all the immortals. If he wins the prize, mortal man would suffer an eternity of darkness. In the end, there can be only one. They should team up and take out the Kurgan. I was thinking the same thing. Also, I wonder what the prize is. You get to... Still be alive. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Is that really a prize? I guess you don't need to be watching behind your back or anything like that. Does he feel the cur again? Oh. Get out. What's wrong? Where's Connor? Ramirez. The Highlander. Where is he? <laughs> oh. That must be where he got his little neck wound. Damn, how is he still fighting? Got him on the run. Somebody's going over that. Yeah. My cut has improved your voice. <laughs> See you later, Kurgan. He's gotta get down there and cut his head off. Even though I know he doesn't. I mean, where the hell is Connor? Ooh. This music's making me very <laughs> afraid for him. 
They're gonna take this whole building down. Jesus. You gotta go for the head. No. Oh no. Oh. She's mine. Ah, not for much longer. There can be only one. Damn. Yeah, he's gonna do the whole, like, power thing. Where the heck is Connor? Yeah, seriously. Hello, pretty. What were you doing, Connor? That fight was very similar, like, the way it was set up. Like, the hound versus the mountain. What can you tell me about a seven-foot lunatic hacking away with a broadsword at one o'clock in the morning, New York City, 1985? <laughs> Not much. I thought we might have dinner. <laughs> what are you looking at, Rachel? The eyes in the back of your head. <laughs> tell them I'm immortal. What the heck? Jesus, he's in, like, World War II? Also, he told his secret to Rachel. I guess it's not that much of a secret. Is this Rachel? She could age up? He just like... What's your name? Rachel. <laughs> it explains why he trusts her so much to tell her that he's immortal. Why didn't you die? Hey, it's a kind of magic. Oh. Ah! Let's kill him. You're the master race. <laughs> Sneaky Brenda. Uh, may I take a coat? No, thanks. What? I'll hold on to it. <laughs> Probably has a sword underneath there. <laughs> I like your place, Brenda. <laughs> it's like he's like super aware of his surroundings. Yeah. Interesting view. What did you say? I said interesting <laughs> view. He shut it off? No, I don't think so. Is that like some super old? Bottled in 1783. Dang. That's old. And England recognized the independence of the United States. The way he says that, it's like <laughs> he was there. Yeah. <laughs> well, on what side? You bastard. Where did you find this? It says you work for the police. You gonna turn off the tape or you gonna shoot me with a 45? <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> Wait a minute, Nash. I want some answers. Uh, I was kind of hoping the date would go well. You must leave her, brother. Probably why it didn't go well. Yeah. Not get attached. Wow, she survived? Did he just leave her be then, I guess? Oh. Come on. Wow. Because I love you as much now as the first day we met. I don't want to die. Will you light a candle and remember me on my birthday? I will. We're in the highlands. It's not cold. You've got your sheepskins on. Yeah, being immortal is like a curse. Yeah. It's been a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool that they can be like friendly with whoever they choose until they have to like kill each other. Yeah. So, the gathering is here. Mr. Bassett is waiting, sir. Ooh. Tell him I'm ready. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just gonna keep getting up. <laughs> Stabbed over and over again. <laughs> We're calling your wife bloated warthog. <laughs> Shoot him, sir. Shoot him. <laughs> now, sir. Now, sir. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Why did he just kill his friend? He definitely didn't seem this big in Shawshank and Starship Troopers, but he seems like a giant. Yeah. Your head chopped off, asshole. So does he know? I don't know, or unless he just said that randomly. Here we stand. A lot of guns. Yeah, who the hell is this guy? There are some very interesting shots just like randomly throughout this movie. Oh. I did not realize that it was him. No, I thought it was Connor and yeah. him. Yeah. What the hell is going on? No. He's just tearing through him. 
Oh man, this guy's gonna be real shocked. Gonna get stabbed is what's gonna happen. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. I wonder if this makes you like any stronger or anything. I feel like it has to. Cause he's probably killed the most immortals. Jeez. That was intense. <laughs> yeah, you guys might want to go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't want to get out? She's just along for the oh, what the fuck? She's on the road now? Poor lady. <laughs> People standing around, nobody saw a goddamn thing. <laughs> tell me about this Matula. This guy survived? He was literally lifted with a sword through him. Must have missed all the important things. <laughs> nope. He had a scar across his neck. I think him. Shit. <laughs> You think you could work with one of our artists, maybe come up with a picture of this guy? But there's something else I gotta tell you. Yeah, they're not gonna believe him. <laughs> Just the the quiet nods. Sure. <laughs> you know cops can't read. What does incompetent mean? <laughs> Just getting shit on. Karen Joan Nash. Took a dead person's identity. He died right after she did. He died. Yeah, so I mean, you're right. He's oh, taking okay. dead people's identity. He's been all those people. have been around since at least 1700 and assuming their identities. Smart. For you, my bunny Heather. Happy birthday. Happy Aww. birthday today, yeah. Take care of her, you overdressed haggis. <laughs> oh man, in the church. No, he can't. It's a holy ground, right? Oh, yeah, they did talk about holy ground. Come on. Really? Only you and I remain. Just down to those two? Oh, wow. Figured there would be a lot more. Nice to see you, Kurgan. Oh, gosh. Your hair. This way, no one will recognize me. You stand out so bad. <laughs> but why did he do that to his what neck again? Why did he keep, like, one piece of hair? Happy Halloween, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> He's crazy. I took his head and raped his woman before his blood was even cold. Oh, no. He never knew that. She was not his woman. She was your woman. Holy crap. Perhaps I gave her something you never could. Oh, no. Goodbye, McLeod. We will meet soon enough. I mean, he didn't really need more motivation to kill him, but that was terrible. It's better to burn out than to fade away. <laughs> what the f- He is super unique. Gonna tell her? Yeah, I assume so. That was a really cool shot again. There's yeah. So many in this movie. I cannot die. Well, everybody's got their problems. <laughs> so supportive. And I am immortal. Oh. <laughs> it's one way to make her believe. Okay. That escalated. You know what's weird? Oh. oh. I think Brenda's about to die. Yeah. Don't lose your head. <laughs> Dude is a giant. He's gonna tear through this door. <laughs> he is psychotic. Oh! Did he just run over a couple of people? Yeah. Man, the things you can do when you're immortal. Oh my god. He is insane. <laughs> this is terrifying. 
That was really cool, though. <laughs> Listen. Which part should I cut off first? Even if you kill him, you're not coming back. Oh. Are you? Russell Nash dies tonight. Hey, it's a kind of magic. That was sad. Yeah. Wish we could have seen more of Rachel. Me too. This <laughs> music. <laughs> this is definitely setting up to be an epic final battle. Top of a sign on a <laughs> high rise. <laughs> Pretty tight space. Yeah. Yeah, they can't even get like a full swing in. Just taking it all down. With, Isn't she still up there? Yeah, she's tied to it. Jeez. Everything's coming down. The last part still standing. <laughs> Oh, she's coming down. Well, oh, that's gonna go over the edge. Wow. Yeah, seriously, she's safe now. Kind of. I think maybe she should crawl the other way. Yeah, where are you going, Brenda? Oh. Not realize there was a glass roof. <laughs> yeah. Well, now they have plenty of space to fight around. He's just so big. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, there you go. What kept you? <laughs> These like sweeping camera movements as they fight. Oh. Just cut his belly. What's happening? I don't know. His face looks different, right? His eyes. He's terrifying. Yeah. Oh my god. Did you get his head? Oh. Looks like there's a fresh cut. Okay. He's about to get a lot of power. There can be only one. Oh my god. This doesn't seem like a prize. That was intense. <laughs> so I feel like the Kurgan's powers were like dark. Yeah. So, this is where it all began. I know what people are thinking all over the world. That's intense. I'm just like you. I can love and have children, live and grow old. What? Prepare me for that, you Spanish peacock. <laughs> Spanish peacock? Don't lose your head. So he can die now and have kids? Yeah, I think he's just a regular person now with some powers. <laughs> with with insane powers to be able to read everyone's mind. All right, that was Highlander. What'd you think? I mean, that was not at all what I was expecting. I don't even know what you'd call that. I mean, I guess sci-fi sword? Fantasy. Sci-fi fantasy or... Ish. Sword. Spaniard, Scottish. I don't know. I mean, that was great. That was so much fun. I had so a great fun, time yeah. watching it. The music for me was like a high point. The music was a high point for sure. And the shots, like there were some really cool shots. There were some really, really interesting shots where they would just like attach a camera to like the hood of the car or mm -hmm. something. I mean, there was a ton of different times just throughout the movie that they just had like something that looked very impressive. Yeah, and then the transitions from times yeah. was cool. And it was also a very like stylized movie too. Yes. The music was exciting, the camera work, the style must have been super unique, especially in the time mm -hmm. that this came out. I mean, even today, like I've never really seen like a movie like this. Like it was just wild from start to finish. Yeah. One of the most like uniquely crazy villains in a movie I've ever seen. Yeah, like I hated him so much, but he was great though. <laughs> yeah, but like it was I don't know, it was just he was very dark though. 
Like, some of the stuff he did was just awful. Oh, he was a horrible villain. Yeah. But it was just, like, so, I guess, like, inter Like, I've never seen just, like, someone take, like, a villain just so, like, off the charts for seemingly, like, no reason. But it also worked. Yeah, I mean, he was insane. Yeah. I don't feel like you usually have such a powerful villain that is that, like, off his rocker. <laughs> like, usually, you know, if you're that crazy, like, you can't be that powerful. And he was, like, both. Like, he had it together, but he was still insane. Right. And then all of that put together, he was the most powerful Immortal, of all of them. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. The tongue thing was freaking me out. The tongue thing. We saw him with the scar normally. Yeah. And then at some point, he just decided to put, like... It was when he like lost all of his hair, but like the one strand. <laughs> yeah, he like cut all his hair off and then put all those like safety pins on his yeah. neck or something. It was just like, what? Like, what is going on here? Yeah, no, he was terrifying. And the thing where his like eyes like turned black. His eyes, yeah, that was crazy. That was scary. Even just the whole uh, sequence of him driving so insane that it literally like caused Brenda to like pass out. Yes. Just from like sheer terror. Yeah. No, everything he did was terrifying. Yeah. Like Clancy Brown was fantastic. Absolutely. So good. I don't even know if I could see Mr. Krabs the same now. Like I'm going to like see a clip from Spongebob and be like, I know what this guy's done. <laughs> like that was wild. Yeah, no, that was crazy. I mean, everybody in this was really good. Yeah. I didn't really know anybody else. Obviously, Sean Connery. Christopher Lambert. So he played Connor McLeod. I know you don't know who Thomas Jane is, but he played the Punisher in a Mar in like one of the like earlier Marvel movies. I swear, Thomas Jane is like the twin. I think they like in certain like movies or like age wise or something, they look really close. Like when I first saw it, I was like, is this Thomas Jane? And the interesting one for me was Sean Connery playing a Spaniard in a movie that's based in Scot, like pretty much in Scotland, kind of. It's just like, why didn't he play a Scottish guy? Well, I think he said that he wasn't. He said he was a Spaniard, but right, then he was like, I'm from everywhere. From everywhere and stuff like that. But that was just so funny that he just like, like we're in Scotland and he shows up like in this like crazy get up <laughs> with like a thick Scottish accent. Well, and this is now after seeing Hunt for Red October. This is the second movie that we've seen that he still has like his full Scottish accent <laughs> he played and is not playing a Scottish <laughs> character. Yeah, he was a Russian. Yeah, so that's funny. We just ignore his accent. He it, just, it works out. Yeah. He was a great like mentor. It was fun to kind of see I him know. come in and train. And I wish you hadn't, uh, you know, gotten it so early. Uh, yeah, he died. And I mean, it's just like, where the heck was Connor during that battle? I know, still, that was like never addressed. Yeah. Where the heck were you? He could have saved everyone, but then yeah. the movie would have just ended there. But And I kind of like that it didn't really hold your hand very much. No. Like, we never really found out like where this kind of came from. It, it was just kind of like, oh yeah, you're just kind of born immortal. Yeah. Uh, we never really heard a lot about this like gathering and it just kind of gave us like glimpses into some of the other immortals along the way. But it's just like such an interesting story. It would be cool to see him back in like the uh, World War II or something mm -hmm. or like the Revolutionary War. Like Yeah, for it to just kind of like elaborate on the story. Yeah, it's like obviously he's gone through all of these different like civilizations and areas to gather all of these antiques and stuff. Like mm -hmm. it's just really interesting to think about his journey for four or five hundred years. Right. And like one of the highlights for that was like him finding like Rachel. Yeah. Like we kind of got introduced to Rachel a little bit. And then it cut to like World War II randomly and I heard like a little girl crying and I was like, oh, I wonder if this is like Rachel because that would be cool because he just was talking to her and it was very apparent that he had told her everything. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I thought he was supposed to keep this a secret. So it just made sense that it was like, oh, maybe if this is like someone he raised as a kid, he would trust enough. Yeah. So I, like that's something like we barely got a lot with Rachel, but that would have been really interesting Yeah, as I well. would have loved to have seen more of that with Rachel. I mean, given that's probably one of his longest relationships in his lifetime because she was so young when they met. Yeah, definitely was probably one of the longest ones because when he was with Blossom, or was it also Heather? Heather, I think he just called Heather her Blossom. Blossom every yeah. once 
But like that was super sad to see because like that was a situation where he went all the way to the end. Really, honestly, being immortal is such a curse. It sounds super cool at the time, but then I'm sure like it only takes one generation to kind of see the people that you love grow old and pass away. And then I'm sure at that point you're over being immortal. We talked about this in Green Mile. Yeah. They weren't, well, Tom Hanks didn't become immortal. But his life got extended to the point where he saw everyone he loved die. Exactly. And, so. Yeah. And he talked about it as like his curse mm -hmm. and like his punishment and stuff. Right. So this power or the prize, like that's another thing that we didn't learn a lot about. Mm -hmm. But from what we know, it's like he can have kids now and he can grow old and die. Yeah. I wonder if it's like a choice still, like he can kind of choose when to, or if he just has lost all his abilities other than being able to read every person's mind on the planet, which that's insane. Yeah, I don't, I didn't gather that it was a choice. Like at that point, like this group of immortals was gone. Yeah. And so now you were just a normal person-ish with powers. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, and I was anticipating the gathering being like this giant kind of fight. Yeah, me too. And it was like the gathering just literally brought everyone together, but not all at once. Like everyone was just around and they were all in New York and then it was like... One by one. Yeah, just kind of kill them off. Yeah, I mean, I guess we only saw two other immortals die. Right. But I was definitely anticipating, you know, they kept talking about the gathering, so I thought it was going to be like, we're going to see this big party and everyone's going to like hang out and then like the clock's going to strike like midnight or something and <laughs> everyone's going to be like, fight. yeah, it was like, all right, time to fight or something. Like, yeah. That's just like a super interesting device to kind of at least get everyone from all over the world to this same place, even though at this point, so many of them have died. Right, yeah, over the years, it seems like Kurgan, the Kurgan. Kurgan, the Kurgan, I'm not even. Yeah, was just killing them all just off. Just killing them. And it's interesting to think like how many were there at some point? Cause Sean Connery's character Ramirez, he had been around for like a couple thousand years before he even met Connor. Yeah, and then Connor, when they met, didn't seem like he had been that was the first time he had died, was yeah. right before that. So he had not been around for very long. No, so like at, at one point where there were like thousands of immortals all over the world, and right. it just kind of got whittled down to the point where it was literally just Kurgan and Connor left. Yeah, and then when did they stop making them? Right, or yeah, at some they point were they're stopping born. Stopping born or something. Yeah. So it's like, it's such a fascinating world that they built, yet they told us just enough to kind of make us super interested. And, yeah. I, and I really kind of enjoyed that because it just, we just got straight into it. I mean, the movie practically started and it was just like, here's a crazy sword fight in a parking garage, go. And yeah. I was like, okay, cool. I forgot that even happened. Yeah, and like, I was like, I'm in. Yeah. It was exciting from start to finish. I really enjoyed all of the bouncing around and stuff. All of the characters, like you said, were, were great. They were fun. I think the highlight for me was probably Kurrigan even though he was the bad guy, but he just like played it so crazy. Yeah. Unique. I'm gonna have nightmares of him like sticking his tongue out and stuff. There was a lot of emotional moments too. Like when his whole clan found out that he was like different. Yeah, and they, they said that he like- Had the devil in him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was rough. Like he just was like, they were gonna burn him. Yeah, which also when he got like the prize at the end and they like all of those like spirits and ghosts, some of them did look kind of like demonic or something. Yeah, and I didn't know if that had to do with Kurgan, like. Was that Kurgan because he was evil? Yeah. Or was that, does this really come from the devil yeah. or something? Yeah, that was super interesting. I wasn't expecting it to be so dark. Yeah. Like the shapes and figures that were like kind of coming out. Because it did not look pleasant at all. No, it looked super painful. Yeah, I mean, not much of like a prize. I mean, I guess he got it after the fact, but. <laughs> that was brutal. Yeah, I mean, every other time somebody was dying, it was like, you know. Just like power and like lightning and stuff Yeah, like it looked a little bit painful, but not to that. Like that was extreme. So like, I I'm really curious what the other movies explore because I feel like there's so much more that you can do with this in terms of 
where does this power really come from or like the adventures of other immortals around the world it's a fascinating universe that this movie built and i honestly went in thinking that this was just going to be a straight up like medieval movie or something like that like sword play and something about like a knight or something like that yeah because i've heard that i've heard that like tagline like there can only be yeah one. there can only be one or something like that so now i get it that there literally can only be one immortal left standing yeah and i'm curious because there can only be one it's obviously connor He's all that's left. So if there's like multiple sequels, like maybe, uh, like you said, maybe they start being born again. Like maybe the cycle like starts all over again or something yeah. like that. And then maybe he's like the new Ramirez or something, and he like. But he's not immortal anymore. No, but maybe he lives long enough to like discover the next immortal yeah. or something. I don't know. Or he loses the prize or something like that. Or maybe I don't know. Someone got their head like. 99% chopped off, but not all the way chopped off. It's just like hanging <laughs> it's just, by a thread. And someone accidentally like pushed it back into position and he came back to life or something. Yeah. So just a super fascinating movie. I so enjoyed it. It was so much fun and it was sad, but it was heartwarming. And then there was tons of comedy in it. Like it had everything. It was just great. Yeah, no, it was like jam packed full of everything. Really impressive. Yeah, absolutely. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon will be in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links will be in the description as well. With that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.